Good morning, and how are you? Um, this is a slightly strange beginning to the morning sunset safari. That's ridiculous, to the morning sunrise safari. My name is James Hendry. I'm going to be talking to you from this, the migration control room down here. We are experiencing a few technical glitches at the moment, and so Scott, who's out in the field, and Taylor, who's out in the field in South Africa, will hopefully be talking to you very soon. This is Safari Live. So you won't be staring at my face for the whole morning. I hope we will be out in the field. The first thing we'll go down to have a look at, of course, is the River Cam. There we have the River Cam at Main North. Now remember, hashtag Safari Live is how you can ask us any questions you'd like to. We are coming to you from two locations here on the magnificence that is planet Earth. The Masai Mara, that is the Mara River you're looking at right now and the Sabi sand in South Africa. I'm not sure exactly what the technical glitches are. I'm never sure what the technical glitches are because my brain is too small. But I will be doing my very best to bring you uh, the most entertaining amount of biology that I can from here on the migration control, as will everybody be doing their level best to get you out into the field as soon as possible. So there are some rapids there at the main north crossing. Now, we've had quite a lot of action here at these crossings over the last few days. The zebra largely in these northern regions of the Mara have been crossing to and fro, hither and yon, over and thither, the rivers. And then yesterday, way down to the south, we had a very large wildebeest crossing, so that was quite fun, but we don't have a camera at that crossing. Um, are we able to go, Rebecca, who is directing today, down to the Dusty Crossing? Is that at all possible? We can go to Dusty Crossing. Rebecca is just going to twiddle a few knobs and push a few buttons and, uh, well, intellectually strain herself at this early hour of the morning. And here we go. Now, I'm sorry about the flicker. I'm not sure why that is. We'll have to have a word with our resident Russian. Uh, hopefully it will be resolved fairly soon. But what I wanted to show you, of course, is what we did not see yesterday at those crossings that we had near the south of the reserve. That, of course, is one of those nasty crocodiles. For some reason, the zebra and wildebeest crossed completely unhindered by the crocodiles yesterday, which is a very odd thing indeed, I thought. We'll just go up a little bit there. I'm sorry about the flickering. We will try and sort it out as soon as possible. And these crocs, of course, are now waiting very patiently for the migration herds to make their way up towards the north. So that's the story there. And, Rebecca, do you think it would be possible for us to go to Main South? One moment, please, everybody. Rebecca is twiddling a few knobs. There we are. And that's a much better picture. And there you can see a nasty crocodilian in the water. Now, I said this during the television show, I think probably during an advert break, but I think what is most interesting about these crocodiles It may not have been, but it normally is Judy H, who put me right when I kept calling them a dinosaur of the deep. They're not dinosaurs. Recent research shows that the crocodile is in fact a very modern species indeed. It's about the same age as our own species, probably a little bit older than that, years or so. That is the Nile crocodile I'm talking about. Period that is uh, long gone. It is in fact very much belonging to this era. I'll just zoom in a little bit closer, and then what we will do is go to the. Um, And there is the mountain cam, which looks a little bit uh, hazy, and that is just because it's quite difficult for the mountain cam to get a picture at this time of the day. I'll just try and brighten it up a 